It is a beautiful day at Changi Beach. Animals and people are out and about. Hershey the hermit crab lives here with Mama Crab. Mama, I can't fit my shell anymore. Hershey dear, you've outgrown your shell. You'll need to find a new one and it has to fit you just right. Hershey ponders over what Mama Crab has said. He decides to search the shores for the perfect shell. Stay safe. Okay. Oh no, I can't find any shells. Just when he thinks the search is hopeless, he stumbles upon an old can. This will have to do. Just a little shake and it will be up on my back. And so he heads back home. However, the more Hershey walks, the more tired he feels. The can does not fit. It's too large and heavy for me. I have to find another shell. So he decides to go down into the ocean. Right before he enters the water, he meets Timmy the turtle. Hi Timmy, what are you doing? Oh, just having a lunch. You eat plastic bags for lunch? Oh, it's not a jellyfish? No Timmy, plastic bags are bad for your tummy. Don't eat any more even though they look yummy. Gee, thanks for your help. I will be more careful next time. No problem, Timmy. Say, do you have a shell to spare? Sorry, I don't. The only shell I have is stuck hard on my back. That's alright. I will keep searching. And so he goes on and meets Gogo the Gobi. Oh, Gogo, do you need help? Yes, please. I've been stuck in this net for hours now. Oh no, that's horrible. I will cut it with my crabby claws while you give it a wiggle. Gogo is free. Thank you, Hershey. No problem, Gogo. Say, do you have a shell to spare? Sorry, I don't. I'm protected by the seagrass around me. That's alright. I will keep searching. And so he goes on and meets Sally the snail. How she quickly approaches her. Sally, are you alright? I'm not feeling too well. It feels like there are chemicals in the water. Sure enough, Hershey feels it too. Hmm, what's causing this? There, Hershey hurriedly snatches up the battery. He runs onto the shore and throws it far away. Satisfied, he returns to the water. Thank you. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Well, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm looking for a perfect shell. Oh, I have one right here. This shell has been passed down for generations. My great-grandfather would have wanted this shell to belong to someone as kind as you. Why, thank you so much. This is exactly what I need. Glad I could help. I know it's difficult to find shells nowadays, as all these humans like to take them home. They even take crabs like you. Hershey sighs in agreement. Right at this moment, he suddenly feels himself being lifted out of the water. And then, he starts to slip out of the can. Help! He's falling and falling and he is scooped up by something. Relieved but scared, he gets back on his legs. Hershey looks up in the human's direction. Isn't that my can in the trash bag? His mind clicks. The human must be clearing trash. The human brings Hershey closer, yet he feels no threat and stares back at the curious human with wonder. After a few moments pass, he is put back down. Hershey, are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. The human was just trying to throw the can away. He wasn't trying to harm me. Maybe humans are not all that bad. Right, Hershey, now that you've got rid of your can, put on this shell. Delighted, Hershey tries it on. A perfect fit. At last, he can go home. Thank you, Sally. You're most welcome. Hershey bids farewell to Sally as he leaves. What an eventful day it has been. 
Hershey has found himself a new shell, made new friends, and learned something about humans. He cannot wait to get back to Mama Crab and tell her all about his adventure.